from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for June 28th, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the USDCHF, the US dollar versus the Swiss franc for today's trade analysis. First off, let's start here on the daily time frame, all the way to the bottom left hand corner of the chart where you see the four black circles. What this shows us is when the market tends to get underneath the pink shaded area, which is 96.30, 96.10, it tends to pressure all the way back down at minimum to the green shaded area into 95.50, 95.30. Now, it also has tended to pressure a little bit lower down to the purple zone the one time on the left, but at minimum, we're looking at the green shaded area. So what we want to recognize is when the market breaks under the pink zone, it goes to the green zone. Now, let's go ahead and bring it over to the right-hand side, and I'll zoom in a little bit. Note that we are underneath the pink zone right now. The market has closed underneath it on the larger red candle from yesterday. We've opened underneath it for today's candle, but we haven't closed underneath it. So that's the caution I have right now. We haven't closed on the daily time frame, singular candle body, open and closed under the pink shaded area. That's the clue to me that it's a real breakout and not a false breakout. You know, we've seen before where a, a candle body opens underneath a support and suddenly turns back above it, and that would end up being a false breakout. So we don't want a false breakout. We want a real breakout. We do notice also that it's underneath these last support lows. You can see one, two, three, four, even five days holding support on top of the pink zone. And the fact is we are underneath there now, giving us higher confidence that it's becoming a real breakout rather than a false breakout. Now, what we can do to give ourselves even more confidence is bring it down to the four hour time frame. And now as we get down here to the four hour time frame, we do indeed see we have seen opens and closes, singular candle bodies, several of them underneath the pink zone and the 96.10 level. So now that we've seen that, it gives us an opportunity to go ahead and jump into this as a short opportunity. Now, I always say you want to sell into resistance to give yourself a better risk versus reward. We always want better risk versus reward. We want better reward also. So to get better reward, better risk, we actually would like to see it uh, challenge back up here towards the pink shaded area as close as possible. Maybe not all the way to 96.10, but at least as close as possible because we know what the risk is. The risk is that it gets back above the pink zone and starts working its way back higher. So we know what the risk is. We know what our potential profit is. We've already studied that from back in time that it goes back down to the green zone. We place a stop loss then if we get into the short above the pink zone to get out if it breaks back above it, we target the green zone. So what I'm looking for today is a sell as close as possible to 96.10. I've placed a pending sell order at 96.05. That way, if it bumps its head into the pink zone again, we'll get into the short, target the green shaded area back to the 95.50, 95.30 level or lower. And the risk again is that it breaks back above the pink zone and starts to reverse this move from yesterday on the USD CHF today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.